Thank you very much, Mr. Calvert. It's very great presentation, very great talk. I have two questions. The first one is that NDP did so well for the people. What went wrong that people moved away? People stopped voting for us. And the second question is how we can connect with the Saskatchewan people now? Uh, to Ginger, those are two. Um, those are two very, very significant questions as we work ourselves to achieving government again. Let me say on on the what went wrong. Um, I recall Alan Blakeney saying that every day you spend in government, you put a rock in the backpack. Uh, it's it's almost inevitable. And over time, the backpack just begins to wear you down. Uh, we were in government for 17 years. So we put lots of rocks in our backpack. We had our fair share of mistakes, our fair share of uh, controversy. But I think what essentially happened is this. We met an opposition that uh, was very, very able. Uh, Brad Wall and the SAS party, the SPs, I call them, um, knew that if they were to have a chance of forming government in Saskatchewan, he would have to move that party to the center. They'd have to move that party in a leftward direction, and they did. They did. They began to look a lot like us. I know mean, oh, after, after our defeat, Howard Leeson put together a book in Regina, and he, and he entitled the book Crowding the Center. Uh, they became, uh, in some ways, they started to look like us. And people thought it was time for a change. And so we weren't gonna lose anything. We were just going to have something new and better. Well, fair enough. And then when they achieved government, they began very gradually and very artfully to move the political center towards the right and to move their party back towards the right. And we're seeing that now dramatically, precipitously moving the SAS party and the province to, to what, what, is, what can only be described as the extreme right, which of course gives us, I think, real opportunity because people will tend to vote in the center. That's where people tend to put their political philosophy and, and allegiances. So with the SAS party now, uh, they've, they've divided, they've died, died, divested of all any notion of the, their liberal roots. Uh, and it is obvious, it is obvious that Scott Moe is beholden somehow to this extreme right. So I think they were, they were, they were, they were a wise and a, a good opposition in terms of understanding the political need to get to the center. They got to the center. And then, of course, they had some very, very good fortune in terms of resource revenues. And they just spent all of our money. They spent the billion eight we left behind. They spent all of the resource revenues. Um, and, and they've, they've hardly ever balanced a budget for goodness sakes. So they've, they've continued to buy their, their, their popularity. So yes, things did go wrong. And yes, we were a government, were, you know, our backpack was pretty full of stones. But at the same time, I think uh, they sensed the political wind and, and moved in. Now, what do we do to reconnect? And now, if, you know, if, if I'm so smart, why are we in opposition? Um, uh, it, it is in many ways a new world. It's a, it's a new political world for, for my generation. I still maintain that the best, the best politic is still local. The best politic is still personal. And if the tools uh, of social media uh, enable some of that personal contact, uh, the better. I think we need to have uh, you know, our, our candidates in the field as, as soon as we can have people interacting with people. We need to be listening um, with sharp hearing to the, uh, to the voice of Saskatchewan people. We need to understand what, what people are feeling in their homes and in their communities. Um, it's it, you know, remember Father Bob Ogle, uh, he's, he used to say there are three ways to win an election. You knock on doors and you knock on doors and you knock on doors. And I think there's still much wisdom in what Father Bob used to say. 